Hi, good morning. How are you? Um, hi, my name is Claudette Esterine Campbell, <clears throat> and I am the president and chairperson of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. Just trying a new thing here and um, just seeing how it goes, how it works, uh, trying to do things a little differently from time to time here at the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. I've, as, as I've always said and I've always repeated, the Daughters of Sheba Foundation is... A non-profit organization. We are Canadian based and here in Canada we are located in Edmonton, Alberta. Um, <clears throat> as I just said, trying a new thing, seeing how it goes and we will take it from there. So this morning, this Saturday, wonderful Saturday morning here in Edmonton, Alberta, it is sunny. I'm going on the road soon. But like I said, I thought I would just do this and see um, where we go from here. So this morning, I wanted to, I want to, and I'm going to have a little chat with you about the 4B movement, as I understand it, and <clears throat> share some clips from various sources to see um, what other people are saying about it, what other people are thinking about it. Just give me a moment here. Let me just check something if we have volume. Sources? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm a bit throaty um, this morning. Anyway, for those of you who are under a rock and have not heard about the 4B movement, which I don't believe there is any such person, but, you know, where, wherever you may be, that person, the 4B movement is, and I'm reading from um, Wikipedia, the 4B movement is a, quote, a radical feminist movement, which is purported to have originated in South Korea in 2019. Its proponents renounce dating men, marriage, sex with men, and having children, and has approximately 3,400 members on Naver, the most popular Korean forum. So what's the purpose of the 4B movement? The 4B movement is meant to serve as a direct opposition to South Korea's patriarchal state and combat its pro-natalist policies, which views women's bodies and reproductive abilities as a tool for the state's future. Feminists and who engage in the 4B movement are known to actively resist the various ways in which gendered expectations are forced in a conservative society, specifically relating to childbearing, relationships, and employment. Now, some of you might say that um, this is not just a South Korean issue, and we have seen that clearly, that it is... Um, happening elsewhere in the world, even here in North America and in particular the United States, where some feels that we're some people feel that we're returning to the hand what is called handmaiden's tale kind of situation. So the four Bs and I cannot speak Korean obviously, but they stand for four no's. So the Bs apparently are the four no's and it's first one is no sex with men. Second one, and that's called, uh, let me try and pronounce it, that's called basic bisexu. The second is no child rearing of the four Bs, no child rearing, and that's bitchulsan, no dating men. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce these South Korean words, um, <clears throat> no dating men. And that's B he he on a. I hope maybe there's a South Korean South Korean who can help me with the pronunciation. And the fourth B in the four B movement is no marriage with men. So this has taken the world by storm. It's 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 spreading almost like wildfire. And um, the term 4B emerged from Korean feminist circles on Twitter around 2017, 2018. And these groups articulated their principles on the Korean feminist wiki site called Fe FemiWiki, where they, they originally defined 4B as the motto, of, the motto of radical feminism, which means, as I just said, no marriage, no procreation, no relationship, 
no sex. As I said, this has caused quite a response from both male and female. And um, <clears throat> I want to play for you um, some one, <clears throat> one such response that I found me on, on YouTube. I'm sorry. So listen to this one. These women. <laughs> you gotta love these women. See, they've now supposedly created this whole movement. They're calling it 4B. Like it's some brand new thing. No, honey. It ain't new. You see, men have been doing this for years. It's called MGTOW. It's where we've walked away from you and now you're having to deal with that, and you don't like having to deal with it. So what's the best option for you? What's the best way to avoid dealing with that reality? Well, claim it's you walking away, and that now you're going to have this brand new movement that suddenly materialized out of nowhere, created by a woman. Here's the thing, ladies. We win either way. Whether you walk away or we walk away, men come out ahead. Oh, by all means. You go ahead and have that 4B movement. If you think that makes you the winners, I'm happy for you. But in the end, it's us who win. Please. So, you heard the guy. <laughs> the men were the first one who came up with walking away. And they walked away from us women. And so, it's nothing new. We are just catching on. Are we? I think a lot of women knew that men weren't totally into it with them for some time now. And um, the way a lot of women feel that they've been treated over the years by men, um, this movement is, like I said, taking catching a fire all over. So the 4B movement, um, <clears throat> it's basically mainly a digital movement. And... Um, it functions as an online community where women engage in open discussion about navigating and envisioning a future without men. Can you imagine that? <laughs> a future without men. I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds a little extreme to me, but um, some people are really into, in, into it. And um, I'm going to play some, a, another clip for you. Uh, in terms of what some women have to Do say. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My fellow American men. It's not like Korean ideas came over here and convinced women to stop dating, stop getting married, stop having and stop having children with y'all. I know, I know you think we're stupid and that our ideas do not originate in our own brains. It's always outside influences with you fellas, right? It's always like our friends who told us to get a divorce or it's some trend that we saw on Instagram or whatever. And so now it's foreign invaders coming in with this 4B movement that's going to convince a bunch of American women. Um, no, you did it. You men. <laughs> Throw your actions. And now most of us have heard of South Korea's 4B movement. However, the topic has caught fire on the internet over the last couple weeks, with many women claiming that America needs its own movement. 4B is shorthand for four Korean words that all start with B or no. Women participating in this movement are refusing heterosexual marriage, refusing childbirth, refusing dating, and outright rejecting heterosexual sexual relationships. In a country that believes feminism means anti-men and is entitled to the belief that women must do all housework in addition to getting scrutinized and humiliated by in-laws, many can agree that the 4B movement seems like the rational response. Many women in the 4B movement refuse to participate in... So, the as, you, as you hear there, hold on, let me stop this. <laughs> I have too much things going on. So, um, as you hear there... One second, let me turn that off. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So, as you hear there, um, they, 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 things are so, so, so atrocious in, 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 in the Korean society that women felt like they had no choice. But it is catching on in, in Western world, in, in the United States, to some extent here in Canada and all over the world. Now, just a little bit of the history, um, the escape, the corset movement that started in 2016 served as an inspiration for the 4B movement. 
The movement calls for women to liberate themselves from sexual, social, bodily, and psychological oppression. The word corset is used by Korean feminists as a metaphor for the societal mechanism that bind and repress women. What do you think about this? You know, um, will, will you um, be, be signing on to, to, to this new, new situation, this new call for women, this new form? You know, I remember when I was um, in university, we would talk about the first wave of feminism and we would talk about the second wave and the third wave. Is this the fourth wave of, of, of um, feminism? Is it? Uh, are we seeing, um, I mean, I know I, I am a feminist, or I, as I prefer to say, I am a womanist, um, meaning because I'm a black woman. I, I want to say that for me, this is a little radical in the sense of where it says that no sex and all of that. Um, I think that there are ways in which we can um, demand our space demand respect um unlike what the man said that they're the ones who started it first no um we as women we have to we have to start with our own self-worth and move out and say listen we, we're no longer going to accept this kind of treatment we we're no longer um willing to um be part of this oppression we are no longer going to be willing participants of this oppression now here here is an i'm going to play you now, another a example like to call those women bitter, the women that say oh girl you better not be a stay-at-home wife you better not i don't want to call them bitter the reality is their love for other women is coming through based on their pain and their experiences and they're saying i went through this Therefore, I don't want you to have to go through this. I want you to protect yourself. So women are being raised by other women who are scarred, who may have walked into motherhood expecting to have a partner there and then walked out of motherhood as a single mom. And now she's relying on a system. And let's not pretend men are more likely to step away than women. My husband was raised by a single mother. Do you think she got what your father expected? Of course not. She did. I don't think, I don't think any woman would get into a relationship, marriage, you know. Now, a lot of people like to call those women bitter, the women that say over So... There you have it. You know, there's there's another trend going on about, um, I don't know if it's in response to the 4B movement, the traditional wife versus the, the 4B woman um, or the women who are saying, listen, enough is enough. Um, there you go on TikTok daily and you see um, all of these women coming out saying that they're a traditional wife and they're supporting their status, they're supporting their sisters as traditional wife, you know. I, I just wonder, when is it that we are going to get to the point where we can just say, listen, male, female, we are all human beings and need to be treated with respect, equal. We all have our, as a man, I have my strengths. As a woman, I have my strengths and we all have our weaknesses. Can we just respect that and, and, and live along those lines? Now, the South Koreans who are at the forefront of this 4B movement, they became part of the, the Me Too movement, although the Me Too movement originated in the States in 2006 and became quite popular around 2017 in many countries, including South Korea. Um, the U.S. created Me Too, uh, South Korea created me too movements of their own in south korea the me too movement like in other places encouraged women to express their experiences of sexual harassment to inspire social change and that's precisely what we need social change it's enough it's enough and you know i think recently i saw um a news report about that man um being the charges being dropped against him what's his name um the movie director, I, I don't really follow him that much, so I, 
Harvey Weinstein, yeah, that's his name. Shortly after its inception in the late 2017, several hundred women stepped forward with claims of sexual harassment and violence, which led to the Me Too movement in the States as well as in, 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 in South Korea. Now we have the 4B movement and then like with the Me Too movement, there's backlash, there's, there are responses that, um, that are, are from women who are saying, hey, they're not even saying sisters, they're saying, hey, bees, you're overreacting. You know, we are the traditional wives and we're living a good life. Um, what's your problem? You know, the problem is that, yes, some of you might be living a good life, but maybe the majority aren't living a, a good life. And that is the issue. So, like I said, this is a first time Saturday morning conversation. Hopefully we can um, do this every Saturday morning. We'll see. Um, find something to talk about. The reason why <clears throat> this is our first conversation is that on our, on our platform at the Daughter Sashiba Foundation, we have had so many men trying to infiltrate our platform with, um, and I guess this is their response to, to women saying that, um, that we, we're tired of all of this. I want to play one last thing um, about on this issue, why the 4B movement scares men. And I w- The 4B movement is not going to work in the United States of America. It's not. Hey, beautiful people. How you all doing today? It's your girl, Destiny, here. And welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, we want to talk about the 4B movement. So apparently, this black man came online to talk about the 4B movement and to talk about how the 4B movement is not going to work in the Western world, in the United States, how the 4B movement is just going to flop because we have a lot of pick that are going to still hook up with men and all that. And wanted to give a lot of reasons why this whole, uh, this whole 4B movement is not going to work. If you're wondering what the 4B movement is, I've done a couple of videos on this before, but the 4B movement is a movement that started up in South Korea. Where South Korea women came up to say, you know what, we're not going to have sex with men, we're not going to... Well, she's saying some of what I've, I've already explained to you. Um, just wanted to, 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 to hear what some of the guys have to say. So let me just fast forward a bit and uh, get to that. The case may be, the 4B movement is dead. You understand me? Mm-hmm. It is Dead on arrival in in the West. Now, dead on arrival like, in the West, he says. <laughs> I always told women is that women really have the four B movement actually does demonstrate how powerful women really are. What I mean by that is this. Now they say we're I powerful. I always told women in my content, ladies, imagine what would happen if every woman in the United States said to even get close to me, to even gain access to me, to get even have that as a possibility. You have to demonstrate to me that you have a high-income skill or that you're working to obtain a high-income skill. You have a certificate, college education, some sort of business, something that shows stability in mental state, income, and good, and have good moral character. And if they display that, and also they have to display a willingness to exclusively deal with you. They don't, because... Monogamy is more is going to be more successful than polygamy, and, I, and that's my that's my opinion. Y'all can disagree with me all you want. I don't I don't really give a shit. Okay. Back to the matter. Do you agree with him that that's all it takes? If we only say that, you know, men will roll over and start behaving themselves. I don't know. I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, watch watch this and and um, share it, and let me hear what you have to say. Oh, Listen to this. You're here to explain to us what it really is. Your argument that there's going to be women who don't participate because they're pick me us. Guess what? It doesn't have to be all women. Mm-hmm. It just has to be enough women to make you scared. Exactly. Hmm. That sounds familiar. <laughs> so it's hot. It just have to be enough women to make men scared that, you know, we're serious. Enough is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. And um, so, like I said, share in, share in the comments your thoughts um, on this 4B movement, this no sex, no, no, <laughs> no children, whatever. Me personally, all I want is more respect, more love, more equality and more justice for women. But let me hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching whenever you do. And um, let's do this again. Bye-bye.